When you're using multiple platforms within your business, monitoring or reporting on your performance can be a pretty time-consuming task, especially if you're doing all of that manually. Like if you're copying and pasting numbers into a Google Sheets, or you're jumping be between different tools, taking screenshots, and then adding those screenshots to a Google slide. Well, with Databox, you can actually centralize all of your data in one place and then use it to easily build dashboards, set goals, create automated notifications, and just so much more. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Databox's native integrations to connect to over 100 software tools. To do that, we're just going to navigate to Data Manager on the menu. And then this will redirect us to the Data Source Connections page, which is essentially a list of all the platforms you've already connected to your account. So if you were looking to connect another platform, you can just select New Connections. OK. To search through our list of native integrations, you can either use our search bar or some of the filters that we have here at the top. But let's assume that you've searched through our native integrations and you couldn't find one of the platforms that you're using in your company. Well, we do offer additional ways to connect your data. So you can sync data to Databox through spreadsheets, SQL databases, third-party integrations. What you'll see here are the options on this sidebar. So if this is relevant to you, do stick around because we will be covering this in another video. But for the purpose of this demo, Let's assume I'm looking to track the performance of my website and I'm using a tool like Google Analytics 4. So to connect Google Analytics 4, I'm just going to click on the data source. OK, from this pop up, there's two ways that we can connect GA4 to the account. I can either ask a teammate to connect for me or I can just connect myself. So let's assume my company restricted my access to our GA4 account. In this case, I wouldn't be able to run through the authentication myself, and so I could use the option Ask Teammate to Connect to send an email to my manager or a colleague who did have the right permissions and who could authenticate this data source themselves. So by inputting their email address and including a personalized message, I could actually send them a request directly from Databox. If I did have the right permissions or my company did give me the right access to connect GA4, I can just select connect now and run through the authentication myself. For the purpose of this video, I've already connected GA4 to the account, so I won't th run through the authentication with you. But if you did have any questions around what permissions you needed or what the authentication would look like, you can just select the help article tab, which is a tab available on all data source pop-ups and just search through the links that we've provided here for you. OK, so I've connected GA4. So let's go back to the Data Source Connections page and see the options that are available to us now. So here's my connection. And by clicking the drop down menu, I can see a few additional options. So I can set user permissions to restrict who can access this data source. I can set time zone, purchase Oracle data, and then I can also see all the metrics that are predefined or out of the box available for this specific data source. So once we've connected a data source to Databox, anyone on the account can actually use metrics to build dashboards, set goals, benchmark performance, forecast. So if we click on see all metrics, we can actually see the metrics that our team member and colleagues will have access to once they start using Databox as well.